Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel here with Madden NFL 2003 again. This time here to break down the Cleveland Browns, both the roster, we'll take a look at a playbook, we'll play a game, and the chat will choose which team I play. Uh, I've broke down a few teams already. Like in the games that I've played, I've taken some tough losses, but hopefully I'll be better here tonight with the Browns after I adjust the roster just the way I want it to try to take on the opponent. So the Cleveland Browns, we're going to start with the quarterbacks. Uh, don't really look too much at the salary in any of these videos, so that's not what I've been doing. What's up, Troy in the chat? Good to see you here. So Tim Couch looks like he got some favorable ratings. Um, not really sure when he was an 81 overall um, after a season, but they gave it to him in this game. What's up, Young Savage? Deontay Jenkins. Baker Mayfield, a little bit before his time. So I'm not playing the Rams. Forget it. So Kelly Holcomb is their backup. And then Josh Booty. What a last name there for Booty. Um, Holcomb ended up being a lot better than this rating. Uh, he came in one year and I believe led him to the playoffs out of nowhere. Uh, but he's pretty horrible. So you're not going to want to put these two guys in at all. So I'm not going to say too much about him unless something, uh, one of the ratings pops out at me. But what's up, Sean? Rain game? <laughs> that would be cool. All right, so Tim Couch is at 81 overall. 50 speed, not, uh, you know, he can move around a little bit back there. That's just about it. Not scrambling at all. 60 strength, 78 awareness, 57 agility, good stamina at 90, 51 acceleration, uh, carrying the ball. Oh, Booty's got a 54. That's a little bit higher for a quarterback. Break tackle, 51. Throw power is a 90. Accuracy, 88. Wow, I'm, I'm surprised Tim Couch has gotten these ratings in this game. Patrick saying in the chat, Tim Couch was the first air raid system QB in college, so had insane stats, and everyone thought he was good. Sometimes a system can make the player, and Patrick saying that in Tim Couch's case, that was it. But yeah, he's, I mean, he's got really good quarterback ratings, throw power and accuracy. So as long as he stays in the game, they're pretty solid at quarterback, to be honest. Look at the running backs. Oh, you got Willie Green as a rookie. Uh, pretty good speed, 88, 76 overall. James Jackson is your backup. And Jamel White, they're both pretty slow at 82. We'll see if they have any ratings worth taking a look at. Uh, but Willie Green is your guy at running back. 64 strength, 51 awareness. Jackson with higher awareness. Agility pretty solid at 85. Jackson's is at 86. Stamina 87. 90 acceleration. It's got pretty good speed. All of them are solid receiving backs. 66 catching for Green. 67 for Jackson. And 66 for White. Carrying the football. They're not the best. You know, some of these guys might fumble a little bit more. Jumping wise, Jackson's really the only one with hops at 80. So Willie Green's got that higher break tackle, 83, coming in as a rookie. So everything I'm seeing, he's going to remain the starting running back here. And injury, going to get injured the least. And then the toughness rating you see there. All right, so let's look at the fullback here. Nothing good. Looks like... Uh, so there's a difference between these two guys. Johnson is a lot faster, 75 speed, compared to Shea's 59. We'll see what differentiates the two, even though they're both pretty bad. Uh, 66 strength for Shea is stronger. Um, so Johnson has more agility there. Stamina is pretty close. Uh, Johnson a lot fa faster acceleration. Shea can catch a little bit better. Uh, Johnson's least likely to fumble. Got a little bit of hops there. So it looks like Johnson's definitely the guy you're going to want to run with. 
His break tackles higher. So let's see. The, so yeah, he's not good at run, pass block and run block. So I don't know. Like it's a tough call between these two guys. There's there's strengths to both of them. Uh, they're. I'm surprised Johnson's rating is so low given some of his uh, ratings, attributes. What's up, Adam, in the chat? Um, I might put in Johnson instead of Shea. Let's take a look at the receivers. You got Kevin Johnson as the lead number one wide out on the team. Quincy Morgan's the two guy. And Andre Davis is the three and then you got Chris Sanders, Jaywan Dawson, and Dennis Northcutt. Uh, looking at the overall ratings, this is a weaker receiving core overall. It looks like they could be three deepish. We'll see how their catch rating is. That's going to tell the tale. With fullbacks like that, you're going single back. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I probably will do a lot of single back anyways. So strength, Johnson at a 51. Uh, awareness is way higher than Johnson than the other guys. Agility, 91. Johnson's the fastest. Morgan at 88. Davis at 88. Stamina's pretty good for the first three guys. And North cut down there at 88. Acceleration, Davis is quick. Gets off at 94. Kevin Johnson, 89. So Johnson's got... He's sure-handed with 90. We'll see how that transitions into the game. I've been getting a lot of dropped balls, even with good receivers. What's up, Jason Grace? Uh, Quincy Morgan, 79 catch, 72. Chris Sanders and Dawson have better hands. Davis is just fast, so you kind of want to leave him in. But... Overall, you got some guys who are going to drop balls besides Johnson. Uh, Carrion Johnson's the least likely to fumble at 81. The other guy's way more likely with lower ratings. Jumps the highest at Morgan. He's 6'1". He's going to be your jump ball guy. Not Johnson. Although Johnson, even though he's short, he's got the hands. Morgan... Most likely to break tackles at 63 rating there. And uh, let's see, kick return, Davis, and he's quick. So, yeah, I mean, weaker wide receiving core, but there's some guys to work with. Tight ends are also bad on this team, so... Fullbacks and tight ends are just complete duds. We'll go through this quick because there's not much to look at here. Dudley with the 60. Let's see what differentiates this, these two guys. Dudley can catch a little bit, but 63 is low. And Campbell at 46. That's just awful. Um, Dudley can break tackles a little bit. You don't want to throw to the tight ends on this team. They're going to be strictly in there for run pass block, which is not terrible for Dudley, but wow, they're pretty bad. So tight ends, definitely a weak point. Let's see how the line looks at the on the Browns. Verba, 74 overall, not a good backup. Wow, 13 speed, that's atrocious. I haven't seen a guy that slow yet. Uh, Verba, Verba, 91 strength. 73 awareness. Let's see, his stamina is, is all right. It's 66. Um, let's see, go to what matters. Pass block, run block in the mid 80s, so that's pretty good. So we got a solid left tackle, 91 toughness. Couch had, yeah, the Browns had a lot of bad everything. What's up, Brennan? How you doing? Uh, left guard, so <clears throat> here you got your weaker at left guard. Stokes is your best guy. 68 overall, 43 speed, 86 strength. Stamina is very low, 42. Uh, let's see their pass block, run block. Yeah, it's below. 
an 80, so it's not great. It's serviceable. 83 toughness. Centers, again, this is the Cleveland Browns. Not saying I'm too surprised by what I'm seeing here. But Dave Wallabaugh, 71, 34 speed. Got a rookie that's faster, but I don't know. I'd stick with that 86 strength. And how's their stamina? Pretty low. Run block, pass block, pretty good, though. 89, 83, so he should be all right in there with those kind of pass and run block ratings. Right guard, not bad with Trey Johnson, 78 overall, 40 speed. Not going to put in the backup. Brad Vidal with those kind, with the 40 overall rating. 88 strength, 53 acceleration, and 84, 85 pass block, run block. So you don't got really any complete bums on the line so far, which is good. I don't want to see what 13 speed looks like. That's a good question. All right. So right tackles, solid too. 76 overall. And then you got a rookie at right tackle. 44 speed here for Ryan Tucker. 87 strength, 75 awareness. 69 stamina, which is better. 62 acceleration, not too bad. And then your run block, your pass block, 87, 81 run block. Yeah, I would say their offensive line is better than I thought. It's going to be okay to, you know, block for couch and get some runs in, hopefully. <laughs> Let's take a look at the defense. Kennard Lang doesn't look too bad. Tyrone Rodgers, not a lot there that makes me want to put in a 51 overall. How's it going, Eli the Wolf? Uh, 79 strength, 64 speed, okay for an end. Definitely, definitely seen a lot slower. 70 awareness. Awareness means more when the computer is controlling the player. That's the way I look at it. They're going to make better plays. Here we are. We're taking a look at the Browns today. Uh, tackling 77 is pretty low for a, a D lineman. Rogers is 70. And 81 toughness. On the other side, though, you got a stud. The best on the team. Courtney Brown. Courtney Brown. 93 overall, 75 speed, 86 strength. He's so good they don't even need a backup. 73 awareness, 72 agility, which is high. 85 stamina, 90 acceleration. That's incredible for an end. Uh, wow. And tack So his tackling's not great. It's at 81, but he's all about being the speed rusher. Yeah, he's, uh, he's athletic. 60 jump, and he's 6'5". 84 toughness. So you got a star here on the line for the Browns. I'm doing pretty solid. I'm doing solid, Eli. All right, defensive tackle. Uh, they're pretty pretty good, not, not bad. Warren, 84 and 73 are your top two with Mark Smith as a good solid backup. So 64 speed here and 54 for Roy. Strength's really good on Warren, 91. 84 for Roy. Mark Smith at 85. All their awarenesses are pretty low. Stamina's all right. Good acceleration for Warren to get around guys and get in there at 82. And the jumping's just all right. Maybe bat down a ball. Tackling's good right up the middle and back up 84. So what you want to see at least uh, in the high 80s. And importance is high for Warren. 87 toughness, 89 injury. You know, they, they might get there a little bit with the, the D tackles and Courtney Brown on the line. So much better than 
the uh, the Broncos line that I was just using. What's up, Filippo? All right, Jameer Miller is your outside linebacker, and he's good. You're not going to put in Boyer with seeing what Miller is able to do here with his rating. 89 overall, 78 speed, 74 strength, 87 awareness, 78 agility, 88 stamina, 84 acceleration, really quick, 56 catch. You wish that was a little bit higher for more interceptions. Jumping is better for a linebacker at 64. Great tackling at 89. And, yeah, he's just the overall complete linebacker. Won't get injured much. Pretty tough, 84. Then you got a lot of good middle linebackers. Earl Holmes at 89 overall. Andre Davis, not quite uh, up to his potential yet as a rookie. But you got Earl Holmes, 74 speed, 81 strength, 83 awareness, 77 agility, uh, good acceleration. Davis is pretty quick, too, at that 80. Catching's low for all these guys. That's going to be a lot of dropped interceptions. Uh, they don't need to carry the ball. Their jumping's pretty low for... Linebackers. Tackling's great on Holmes. Davis, 73, 63. Um, with Davis there at middle linebacker, even though he's a rookie, like I could see maybe testing out some 3-4 sets where there's four linebackers on the field, even though his rating's not good. His A lot of rookies just get a lower overall rating because their awareness is pretty low, which is his is a 56. So, his ratings aren't too bad. Brown and LeVar Arrington, 1 and 2 in that draft, both from Penn State. Hmm, that's good to know. And wow, just a good overall solid linebacking core for the Browns. Dwayne Rudd at 83 overall. You got Marquis Smith as the backup. Smith's got some speed, 78. That's good to know with... Smith there, you're not going to put in Lenoy Jones. 72 strength here, 82 awareness, agility, 70s, good Rudd's not going to get tired at that 88 stamina, good acceleration. In the 60s of catching, that's good for a linebacker. 64 jump, and Marquis Smith has 68, that's pretty high for a linebacker. Uh, tackling's good on Rudd. Marquis Smith, 67. I would say this is the Browns' strongest position as the linebackers. Not going to get injured that much. 88, yeah. That's, this is a strong, strong linebacking core. What's up, Dwayne? How's it going? So, looking at the corners, I didn't speak too soon. They're not good. I pretty much figured that the Browns letting up big, big passing outings for the opposing quarterbacks. Um, so the top twos are 75. That could be worse. Anthony Henry's got 87 speed. So let's see what they got. Uh, 84 is rough. You're going to have to keep an eye on him, who he's going to be defending. 75 awareness for McCutcheon. Uh, 86 stamina. Looks like Henry's got the most stamina. Acceleration all in the mid or low 80s. Henry's got the best hands. Fuller's a 59. So, I don't know. Like Henry might be someone I put in over Fuller. So far what I'm seeing. Uh, jump is the highest for McCutcheon. Knock down those balls. Tackling, so that's Henry's weakness. 55 tackling compared to 66 on Fuller. 65 tackling. I guess it might matter who we go up against, but I would say Fuller or Henry, you could put either of them in at DB2. And, yeah, pretty much... 
weak but serviceable. Some real bad safeties in this game. I mean, phew, Bush and Little, I think we're going to have to see which one's better to put them in. Both under an 80 speed, which I really don't like as a safety. That's pretty brutal. Strength is pretty low for these guys. Awareness is low, 63 and 57. Uh, their acceleration, not fast. Stamina is okay. Uh, jumping, not terrible. Bush only a 70 tackling and little 61. That's You really don't want guys that are your safeties back there. Hey, Smoke, how's it going? So, yeah, this is a bad position for them, real bad. Let's see, at strong safety, yes, you got Robert Griffin. He's not the fastest, which I don't like. Only an 81, but at least you got someone back there who's probably going to be a reliable tack tackler. 86 awareness, 83 agility, good stamina, 87 acceleration, 67 catch, so that's good for interceptions. Pretty close to 70 there. 91 jumps, not great. Good tackler, like I figured. 87, that's what you want to see. Last line of defense. At least you got one guy back there who could tackle. Devin Bush Sons plays for the Steelers, was a star at Michigan. Says Patrick. So their kicker is not bad, he's 83. Kick power, 87. Kick accuracy, 90. So kicking shouldn't be a problem. Chris Gardaki, I mean the, the Browns probably punt a lot. And they got a good punter. 89-89. So no problem in the punting game. So yeah, Courtney Brown's the best on the team. And then you got a few linebackers up here. Robert Griffith. So it's not the strongest overall team. Let's be honest. So Couch is going to stay in at quarterback. Willie Green will be your starting running back. Uh, Shea's the better run blocker, but... I don't know. Johnson is a better ball carrier. I'm going to put him in. I think you can go either way, though. Uh, looks like the first two guys, Andre Davis. And, yeah, I'm going to leave it pretty much like this. 78 catch. Davis really because that 94 acceleration with that 90 speed. Anyone in the 90s like that, you want to get them on the field. I did not see that Lions jersey you made. I did not see it. Where did you where did you put it? I'll take a look at it. Tight end. We're gonna have to go with them. There wasn't really any changes to make to the offensive line. Um, Lang on the left side, Courtney Brown on the right side. First two D tackles in, everything looks good. Linebackers, straight across the board. This is one of those teams where you don't even have to necessarily adjust the formations like dime, quarter, nickel to put in Holmes because the other linebackers are just as good. I'm going to leave the better tackle. Well, they got Fuller at one. I'm going to leave Fuller in at, as the starter just because he's got better tackling. And Henry is the nickel corner. Whew, I almost want to put a cornerback back here. It's really bad. Let me see what I have. Let me see Henry's tackling. 55, not good. Almost rather put Fuller back here. That might be the smartest thing to do. Let me take a look at this. Might have to be creative to uh, patch up a weakness. So if I put in Henry McCutcheon, that's 87's there. And then, you know, I'm not going to be looking too good, obviously, in the 
in the diamond nickel packages, but at least I'll get someone back there who's got a little bit more speed and can tackle. Gardaki, a former bear. I don't remember that, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. They need a good punter all the time. Um, let's see. No. Where's their other corner? He's a 49. And then we're going to put in Fuller here at the other safety. So at least he's got some speed back here, and he could tackle. So, and he comes in at 75 overall rating. So that's a big adjustment to make. That I would, I would do. Because uh, Henry's not too bad. Eighty-seven speed, good catching. He's just not as good of a tackler, but that's fine. So uh, let's see, kick returner Davis. Yes, he's the fastest on the team, I believe. We're not going to put in the starting running back. We'll put in Henry. Our Northcutt always return kicks, too. i will put in Northcutt because, you know, we don't want our starting corner taking blows. What's up, Crestline? 2002, Cleveland Browns led the league in scoring defense. All right. So our roster looks set. I'm playing on all pro. Like I said, I've been on a little bit of a losing streak. So I'm looking poised to get back and get some wins going. So let me know who you want me to play. The Browns, what? <laughs> the ratings, 93 defense. I think maybe my adjustment might have helped that. At safety, I don't know if they're naturally a 93, but if you think about it, they have a really good linebacking core. They have one good safety and one really good D end. So they got they got someone on every line that's that's good. And their offense, you obviously saw, was weak. Sorry for bumping the mic there. Kicker with 15 strength. Who do you want to see the Browns go up against? We're going to the dog pound in Cleveland. No, I'm not playing the Rams. It's a mismatch. I think earlier someone was asking for a rain game. Minnesota at Cleveland in the rain, says Sean. I think I went with Sean's. Uh, team a couple videos ago so if anyone else has something I don't know why everyone wants to even play the Rams Browns vs. Bengals Ravens is a good one I think uh, Ravens aren't too great in this yeah Ravens both to Cleveland that's true See if I got their helmet in here. I do. Might have to adjust the size. I think we'll go with Baltimore. People are liking the Ravens Browns matchup. What's up, large man? Good to see you here. And as I play this, I'll give my analysis on their playbook. As I've said before, I always use the Bears playbook, and I was comfortable with it, and I knew where to find plays. And it definitely helps when you use the playbook that best suits your play style. So we'll see if the Browns fits my play style and also fits the strengths of their offense, where there is any.
Realms Titans wouldn't have been a bad one. I think the Titans are rated pretty good in this game, though. This was still when they had Air McNair. The Pack. I took down the Packers with the Bears in the first video. Oh, you're going to get to see some Ray Lewis. On the shore of Lake Erie. The shore of Lake Erie. And what a tremendous divisional matchup we have here today, John. Oh, these Browns and Ravens are always going to be out there to prove something to the other team. Welcome to the game. EA is proud to bring you continuing coverage of the NFL. I'm Al Michaels with John Madden. Let's go. One thing that can turn an average defense into a great one is the guys up front. This is when yeah. EA really came up big with the graphics. It, allows the it was hard to think it was going to get much better than this. And, not have to blitz or pressure and it has gotten better, but these graphics hold up. I mean, does anyone think that these graphics don't hold up to what we see today? I think they do. I mean, this is 2002, 19 years ago. They're receiving. You see Ray Lewis already ready. Old Browns versus New Browns. That's right. A boot. He kicks it off. Number eighty-four. Always have a good feeling when I play these older Madden games. It was definitely a simple time in my life. Playing these games, playing this one online. Being intense about playing this online, but still a good time. And you know what I haven't been doing in the last few games? I haven't been playing as much zone, and I'm going to get back to that. I think I was getting more receptions sitting in zones. What's up, Tim? The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Heat, the man in motion. We got Todd Heat. Looking downfield. Redmond lets it fly. We're passing on me so far. With the wide receiver snapping to the QB in the pregame? I don't know. That's something I haven't noticed. First and ten. Well, Redmond's chucking down the field already. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Man in motion. Quick drop. Throwing All back. picked. Yes. On the tip. One of the good linebackers comes through. Good replays. When I watch the playbacks of these sometimes, I'm like, these replays look really good. Like, I can see why people like to watch these videos a little more than some of the Tecmo Super Bowl ones. Like, this game has really excellent presentation. Zone D was better for the older Maddens, yeah. And, like, it just happened there. Two guys come to the ball, gets the pick off the tip. Really green with a good blast. I form. I got the big. Let's see. Counter plays. Try the fullback. He's got. He had some pretty good running ratings. I thought he was gonna get good blocking, but. Let's see. So they, I like. So this is what I like. This is kind of what the Bears have too. Is they have multiple shotgun sets. This is kind of like the one I really like to run a lot of plays on. Which is the three wide with the the running back in the backfield. So I could hit Green or Davis on this one. That's what I'm going for. He's looking to pass. Throws over to his right. Hits it. He put everything he had behind that throw. That's one way to make sure your receiver doesn't drop the ball. It's a little riskier than it needed to be, I think, but you just put it right on the job done. First and ten. 
Patrick saying Davis is a good weapon. Adams likes 03 and 06 is his favorite man. Oh, I ran him into the line. Oh, oh, they caught up to him, but that's a big run. Ankle tackle. Forty-yard run. So I kind of created that with the movement. Didn't look like there was much there right away. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty-seven yard line. Oh, just no problem, Tim. Yeah, I wasn't playing really many games at all. I mean, Super Nintendo with the Griffey game. But now I'm back on it. I'll be doing this series of Madden. Maybe I'll sneak in a few different ones here and there. And then you got my cousin, Sh Slapshot Sean, Green Magic, and my brother Lumberjack Cracks contributing here and there. Green blasts him. Green's having a good day so far. The Slick 93 says almost a TD, yeah. The running's going good. Actual PS2. Here's the controller. I got a little cabinet over here that has all the retro systems. Maybe I should do one of those, like, game room tours. The basement's just full of games. Oh, they got the tight end attack to the outs that I like with the Bears. So, yeah, in my cabinet here, I have NES, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Atari Jaguar, Sega Saturn, N64, Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox, all in one stereo cabinet. Johnson, the go-to guy, the Browns looking fluid on the first drive. It all clicked there. Didn't have any negative plays. Receivers caught the ball. And the Browns got a lead against the Ravens. NBA Jam 99 seems underrated. I don't know for what system. I I don't look at one of those that game as being underrated. I'm talking about the one on Nintendo 64. I think once Acclaim pretty much stole the name from Midway, all those games were pretty bad. Oh, could have been another pick. I think that might have been my mistake in uh, the last few games is just not playing zone enough. The computer seems to be just really bad throwing against the zone. Yeah, look, yeah, another one. Just playing basic cover too. Giving problems. No, I never use emulators. Me personally. The only one on the channel that really uses emulators is my brother sometimes, but Sean plays on actual hardware, Green Magic. We all like the, the true hardware. Yeah, that's a... Uh, I'd say I guess just like an American pronunciation, Jaguar. You could say Jaguar, which I guess is more. When you think about it, probably how you should pronounce it, Jaguar. It's street slang, Jaguar. Just in case you see one on the streets, you gotta be prepared for that situation. 
Not that it's ever happened to me, but it won't happen in Chicago. Maybe some Coyotes. Redmond gets set. Keith moves in motion. There's certain things that I say, like people want to correct me. Like the way I say attributes, I say attributes sometimes. That's how I always said it, attributes instead of attributes. So a lot of times I just say ratings now, the player ratings, to just avoid it. Because I notice, like, watching other gaming YouTubers throughout the years, like, some of them, when you say Mario, like Super Mario, very common thing to say when you're covering games. They say Mario. Super Mario, and you're like, Mario, why do you talk like that? So I could see where it could get annoying, but if someone's talking about, you know, Nintendo games all the time, and that's the way they say Mario, it's like, wow, I don't know if I could watch this. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. Like, he can't even say Mario right, but that's just like the regional pronunciation. They went with the running play. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose. Yeah, emulators, I saw, I've saw. i seen some really nice videos where they're upscaled on the computer. And they do look great. It's just, I don't like messing around with the configuration of them and the controllers. And it's not really that hard for me. It's just, um, I guess I built this channel and cabinet out thinking all the time would be playing versus someone and that's the way it has been for like the first five years having I, this is probably the first year on the channel where i've played more by myself yeah mario that's the way some people say this is a good drive for the ravens Oh, almost a pick, a dropped pick. You pronounce Oregon different? Second down, goal to go. I say just say things how you say them. Good linebacker, or does the safety that tackle him? Alright, this is a big third down game. I'm gonna, no, I don't even know. Do I wanna bring a blitz? Yes, let's bring it. Third down out and Tighten up. Widen. Linebackers. Oh, DB. <laughs> Oh, it was like a back shoulder throw. It was not pretty, but got the job done. Oregon. It's a G-O-N, so it's Oregon. But. A good looking drive, and they score the touchdown. And the offensive unit should be very pleased with it. So, my 93 overall de defense uh, as it was shown at the beginning of the game did not get the stop there. That last drive resulted in the touchdown. They did a great job moving the ball on the ground, and let's see what they can do here. Try the counter to this open left side. So whenever you see a DB out there like that, that, that means they're in some kind of zone defense. Gets the block anyways. Cut inside. And the defender brings him down at the 35. Counter works pretty good. I'm try to blast to that same side. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 35. Oh, Monty, I'm playing on all pro. I have played on all Madden before, but I just feel like all Madden, this, they just turn the sliders down to the point where uh, you're just dropping balls you shouldn't. 
When you get penetration like that, it's very hard for the offense uh, to the get PC X2 is good. We're get talking set. about the emulator. Man, when I had more time, when I was like still living at my parents' house, so we're talking like a decade, of, almost a decade ago. Um, I would do all that emulator stuff, try to get them up and running, and they weren't as good. Like a PS2 emulator, I wouldn't have even thought about that then. That that would work, but. The ball is right I've heard the they've had like you have like Nintendo Switch emulators now, Couch. or a gun, and just put whatever value you want at the end in Oregon, I guess. What's up, Jacob? A kid from Toy Story. Let's see if we could hit a corner. We got a fast Davis. So we could outrun somebody. Oh, wow. That was not going to work. At least I threw it away. I saw the blitz coming from that side. So I was able to get away from it. He was, he was open. If I could have set my feet, he probably would have made that throw. And they might try it again right here. So this five yards, I'm either looking to throw to Jackson or Davis. It depends what that the linebackers do here. Ooh, he, the linebacker jumped up. I think third and five at the 48. I'm going for it. See if I could just get a little out here. Try to this side. Fourth and five coming up here. <laughs> they make Yeah, that's how I feel about all men and they make it magical. Oh good play by the DB. See this is kinda what has happened to me in some of the other games where I'll get a good drive or two and then it just kinda stalls out. But now you put all the pressure on your defense. Since the defense knows they're going to be passing, the offensive line will have to hold their ground and be ready for any kind of He's wide open. Might even have a back try to chip on the defensive end before going out the pass. I'm going to play with the Panthers. I'm going to run through all the teams with these breakdowns. Especially right here. They're close enough where they can just call their regular plays like it's a normal drive. And as long as they do that, they should be able to get the lead going into the locker room. Using motion. They'll go with a pass. Passes oh, come on. Pick that off. The quarterback thought he had that one. You got to deliver the ball out there quickly. But it has to be catchable. You got to use some touch. Go for it. Make the Bengals throwback jersey. Teams get in this area. So he might be someone to watch. It's second down and 10 to go. Courtney Brown here. He's only 93 overall. Redman with a man in motion. Lewis. Off on the delay. I, I should start playing time out now. They're yeah. going to hurry up, so. Oh, I was right there. I got my hands up in time, and he dropped the pick. Well, at least I forced a field goal. It's a good user, but Holmes doesn't have the best hands, so he's like... In the 50s, with his catch rating, that's why you, for the linebacker you want to try to be in the 60s. Let's get more picks. All right, I got to put a good drive together. 54 seconds. Got three timeouts. He sends it off. The returner feels it cleanly and is looking to give them good field position. There we go. That's good field position. Let's see what they have at single back. Yeah, the tight ends are terrible. I don't want to run anything like that. Right. 
Something like stacks. I do feel like it plays a little slower, but I kind of like the pace of it better. It's kind of like if you compare SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, to like WWF No Mercy. Like, I like the pace of those N64 games way more than SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain. But I still like that game. I think it's a good game. Wow, he caught that in bounds. I wouldn't be surprised if they review that. I'll take it for now. Oh, I guess it was a catch. Oh, man. Oh, he caught that. He was supposed to do an out. I threw it because I saw the blitz coming. Man. Yeah, it's about the pace. Like, um, so another example, I'll use uh, a basketball game. Oh, you almost threw a pick. Like, I always played NBA Live on PS2 back in, you know, when these games are out. But when you consider the pace, like, NBA Inside Drive is way better because of the pace. I think that's something that gets overlooked a lot with sports games. Is like, is the pacing right? Does it feel good? And it's not like Madden 2004 was way faster. But you could tell it was a little bit faster. Davis, oh, he's dropping. Come on, these guys got to make these catches. Oh, try to run one. I don't know, on third and ten. I do have all my timeouts. Is to get some pressure on the quarterback. Either throw a pick or take him down for the sack. Third and ten. Yeah, the player models in this game, I, I mean, they really looked perfect. They had to add the details throughout the years to the individual players, but even in Madden 2001, yes, touchdown, Johnson. That's my go to outplay that I also use with the Bears. They pretty much have the same plays in that shotgun formation as the Bears, which is very helpful <laughs> in this game. But yeah, the player models, I think that's what they had over NFL 2K at the time. Like, that looked good as well, but like, the player models on these guys were pretty much perfect. They just had to change the detail. I think like Madden 2001 that they had literally no facial differences I don't think but besides for like adding eye black and nose you know pieces and their skin color but otherwise they look pretty much similar yeah and you know WCW NWO Revenge is good too That's, that's the one that got me into the wrestling games on N64. That's the first one I played, even though there was another World Tour, WCW, NWO World Tour. I didn't really play that one. So we got the lead with the Browns going into halftime against the Ravens. Yes, and that was huge with that game that you could wrestle in the backstage areas because that was something the SmackDown series was doing for a while and it really added a lot to it. And they had storylines in one-player mode. So, yeah, that game was awesome. I'm trying to find something. No name listed for the returner. All right, looking good here. So let's start with the run game since we got the lead. I don't want my 
offense to stall out, though, that's for sure, which it has done. And they look... Oh, crap, the first play. <laughs> Have that shorter play clock after the return. Now they move the way I wanted them to. Oh, man. Got inside, broke a tackle. Got to get these outside posts going. It can be very effective in this game. Just 84. Um, I think it it does happen with players where they just I don't know. Honestly, there are other players like that. Though. Oh, he just didn't have his feet set. He was wide open. Madden had better player. Yes, I would agree with that. They had better player models. That game, 2K had better animations. Although, I would say by this game, Madden added some animations and they, they felt fluid. Whereas like in Madden 2001 and 2002, they didn't feel as fluid. Like they were a little bit delayed sometimes. And I squandered that possession away real quick. Three and out. Got to play some defense. But even with Madden 2001, as offensive minded as that game is where you could just throw up some bombs you could still get interceptions there's fumbles that happen so it's still a fun game because there's a lot that uh can turn the tide but by this one is really when it felt like a fluid experience overall oh, going deep Still, look, I'm still searching for my first sack. Got to get Courtney Brown. Oh yeah, linebackers coming in. I like the Browns' defense. Here they're coming with a. Uh, We'll go four under, see what they do. I want to give them too much time to throw, but hopefully someone can get there. And they ran the route short of the first down anyways. I think it has been a good game so far, Adam. Brown's Chicken. I used to eat Brown's Chicken, the fast food chain. I don't know if they're across the country, but there's a lot of them in Chicago area. You know, get that fried chicken and um, the fried mushrooms. They're pretty good fries, biscuits. You work for a sports memorabilia shop now? Cool. It's right up your alley. You like that. If you can work in your area of interest, it always... It's not that hard to to work, you know. I kind of feel like that now since I've been doing this video game bus thing. It's like it is in an area of interest, and I could use, you know, some creativity and mindset to get the games that I want on the bus for people as, as well as what they request, and it's a good experience. So I worked at a play it against sports which sports was an area of interest of mine and you know it was for an individual owner and it was you know their family business so it felt good because I was working in an area of interest and I was working for people that owned the business so you were more connected to it overall and I think go moving forward those are going to be the 
the jobs that I look to do. Working for good people in an area of interest. I mean, that's all you can do if you're going to work for someone else. I'm not finding the play I want there. Tight ends, I don't really want to throw to them. They're not that good. And I'm really not finding the play I want. Here we go. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 36 yard line. <laughs> For press. I want people to ignore the president. I don't want to be the president. Okay, come on. We got to get this little five, four yard gain. Recap video after I do all the rosters. That's a good idea. Just Dawson, yes. I think one of the things I'm really enjoying about the Browns is their offensive playbook. I've been able to find some good running plays. Rank all the teams one to thirty-two. Yeah, there was a defender in every gap ready to make the tackle on that play. Right down inside the fifteen. Some couch really getting the job done. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. He's open. Catch Davis for a touchdown. The Browns looking good, feeling good. I really don't, I have to look back, I'm, I'm going to check after this game, putting Fuller back at his cornerback position and putting that other safety back in and seeing if the Browns are still a 93 defense. I think that change is what propelled them to have that higher rating, but we'll see. Yeah, there's definitely more I could do with it for sure. I mean... This channel's been known to do different videos on Tecmo Super Bowl, all the different ways people could break down that game. It could be done with any game that has tremendous depth. And I would say all the Madden games on the PlayStation 2 and in this era, Xbox, GameCube, have this depth. So you could really... But I think it has to come from a place of true enjoyment there is a sack I could like I said I could do this with the ESPN 2k5 but that's not my favorite you know football game in the era so I got to do it with what I like best because then the videos will come across better and be more genuine and plus I put a way more time into this game Super Bowl presentation, that's a good question. Um, I don't really remember that detail. Yeah, Jordan missed a lot of good games in the 90s. He was just not in them. Let's see if we get... Yeah, we'll go with the safe coverage. I want to keep these linebackers on the field. Yeah, because Shaq and Barkley had their own licensing deals in games. Like Shaq was in Shaq Fu, and Barkley had his shut up and jam. Oh, I was sitting there, but the, he just waited. That was the way to play in NCAA, at least. Sub, uh, rangy corner and at free safety. Yeah. I, this is way, it's unexcusable to be under 80 speed and then be a horrible tackler on top of it. I don't want him back there. The Browns looking good heading into the fourth. Set for the 
Yeah, even when they're going three wide or whatever, I'm just sticking in zone coverage in the 4 3. Gets the hand on it. See, we bring the corner blitz, have some people back. Yeah, that, that's exactly my point, Tim, is like, after this one, they started, you. I mean, you could call them gimmicks, they were good, usable things in the game, like the playmaker's awesome, hit stick's fun, but the hit stick, you could argue it's overpowered, and the playmaker is like, too quick to adjust the defense to, to just switch it. Instead of like actually calling audible, and because then the defense could shift their line over, you know. I could have ran that, but whatever. And that's how I felt about when I played verse people and online in this one. Like this was the purest experience. By 2004, with the playmaker, I felt I was taking advantage of people with things they didn't know how to do. Like, one of the things I would... I'll show you what one of the things I would do with this play, because I have it. So, I would just... So, here, the tight end protect. This is the play I keep calling with the outs. But, basically, what I would do with the playmaker versus people is... And this is a perfect team, like, to do it with. Davis is the fastest receiver on the team. I would move over this guy in motion and then a playmaker Davis over um, with the quick out and then just have him outrun the the, uh, the <laughs> didn't work at all outrun the corner and uh, just a lot of times score a touchdown like with the Saints uh, Dante Stallworth he was like a 97 speed like you just totally take advantage of someone they have like a linebacker on them, or you could see that they didn't even have a man on him at all. Oh, why? Why do you rifle it so hard? I shouldn't have uh, called that play once I moved that guy in motion. That sack hurt me. Although, Johnson was open on that. He just threw it way too hard. Oh, yeah, Jordan did have his own platforming game. I have the game. I should play it. I mean, there's so many games that I've bought that I plan to play on the channel, and I'm sure I'll eventually get to it. When I started this, it was an area of interest, and I knew it would be just an ongoing thing, so it'll pop up eventually. It's a game I probably want to play with my brother on the channel, but oh man, keeps wide open. Patrick saying, "Yeah, that safety single-handedly made that defense ten overall worse." It looks like they're finding spots. This receiver has great body control. It doesn't seem to matter where it's thrown. He always seems to come up. Well, I didn't get to call my play, so we're just going with the deep guys. Man, and he broke a tackle. All right, we got a game. That was quick. A big broken tackle, too. Oh, they're going for two. They're going to try to make it a field goal. Just make it a one-score field goal game. Oh, I didn't even see him coming across. 
You would say that's just being smarter, better at the game? Yeah, it is, but it also is it. It's just a very quick way to take advantage of your opponent. I mean, this game has hot routes, so I guess you could do a similar thing. Oh, North Cut's getting a big cut of field here. Second good return. Green Magic, what's up? Browns, they got they got some guys. Went through the whole whole roster at the beginning of the video, but uh, made their defense a lot better. And Tim Couch isn't isn't bad as a quarterback here. Don't, I didn't have any really successful runs, so I don't want to just start passing exclusively Within scoring distance. Two, minutes two, two minute two warning right, second and seven coming up here. and we're moving out of the way a little bit gonna see if he was gonna truck him. I'm going in the shotgun. I got two options. I feel like either Davis or in the flat the green. Oh, green was open. I don't know. This is well, three, 16 yards. I'm gonna have to punt. Defense says 93, putting Fuller back there at safety, so I'm gonna have to rely on it. See if I could cough and corner it. All those training videos, or I mean, training camp. Not the best. But at least I got to go more than 80 yards for a touchdown. Pretty good zone. I like this one. Sky. Just middle's weak, but I'm bringing in five guys. Field's pretty covered in the zone. Oh, he just snuck it in there. Uh, yeah, I, Kelly Holcomb is the backup, but he's horrible in this, but he ended up playing really well. They're finding the holes in his defense, that's for sure. In the power rankings, that's a good question. Oh, I didn't stick with him, he dropped it though. I mean, I'm going to try the quarter now that they're, I don't know, I got such good linebackers. Just try the man lock for one, see how it goes. The personnel's not great for the quarter defense. But I could really just try to read the quarterback in this. All right, that worked there. Yeah, the training camp drills are, are a lot of fun. And Madden was doing that even on the Super Nintendo, but they really got it down in this era of their games, like them being actually enjoyable. Oh, yes, smack down. Will they punt? No. They're going for it because they only have one timeout left. In my power rankings, the Browns would be higher just because some of the things they're doing here. Oh, he almost got there. The D was there. All right. 
I really just have to knee the ball down, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. There's no reason. You could blow games by just not doing the math. They have one timeout. I've earned this victory. No reason to show off. And a kneel down here on second down is the most likely scenario. Browns for the win in a rivalry game versus the Ravens. Yeah, I almost had one user pick in this game. Well, my linebacker dropped it, though. So just let it get under 40. Did they use their timeout yet? Yes, they did. Okay, so they can't. They can't stop the clock. And that's it. The Browns get the victory just enough. take a look at the stats here but what I have to say about the Browns is their their playbooks not only good for them but it's just a good playbook overall they have some good running formations and multiple formations in the shotgun that are very usable there's some plays I'm familiar with so I was able to take advantage of those plays able to take down the Ravens how many tackles did Ray Lewis have Tim talking about all the oh you can't forget churches oh you did churches Harold's all the chicken places uh, Boston Market couch player of the game 10 for 19 three touchdowns couches ratings are he's only 80 overall but is Throw power and pass accuracy are very good, so he's an asset on this team. Let's look at the individual stats. Uh, that's the best game I think I've had with a quarterback in all these videos. 114 rating. Willie Green, running back too, almost 100 yards on the ground. 100 yards as a team at least I don't know maybe with that minus six maybe not but uh, Kevin Johnson with two TDs Davis had that one spread it out that safety foot and Corey Fuller from cornerback to safety had four tackles Rudd with four and that INT really didn't get in on the action at all I didn't even have I just had that one batted ball or two pass deflections. But thinking back to the game, they weren't running that much, even though they got Jamal Lewis. They were coming, trying to come from behind. Northcutt with some big kick returns. Uh, let's see. Ray Lewis had four tackles. Browns get it. So I want to check if I put Fuller back after the adjustments. We'll look at the how the Browns look and then change it back. Specifically, the, the one big one I made was Fuller at safety and see if they go down in the ratings. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. Tim Couch, first QB for the Browns after the reintroductions. Yep. <laughs> Skip top five, six top five picks away from being contenders. Almost there. All right. So this is the uh, the chain, the big change that I made. Oh yeah, let's look at the Browns real quick. The ratings. Let's see if it goes down. Yeah, couch is good. I had a passing playbook I was familiar with, so it made me look better too. But the Browns, so here, 93 defense, 70 offense, 80 overall. Okay. 
So let's go to the rosters, put the depth chart the back the way it was, and see if that does make a big difference. So this was the big change. I moved Fuller to cornerback or to safety because their other safety was atrocious, 63 overall. So I'm moving him back. I'm putting Fuller back at the starting corner. Put Henry back here, and let's see if that has a difference, makes a difference here. <laughs> Ryan Leaf struggled in the NFL. Yes, he did, but he could throw a big, a big bomb if you need him to. I think in one of those fantasy drafts I did in Madden. I had Ryan Leaf on the team and I brought him in to throw a big bomb. Now let's see how the Browns look. Oh no, still a 93 defense. So, But they did go down and overall to 78. I'm surprised they're so high on defense. They do have really good linebackers. But their secondary is not really good, besides for Griffith. And they have one guy on the line who's good. Let's look at it real quick. 93 just seems so high. I didn't see a 93 overall defense, but maybe that's how they rate it. And you got four guys who are really good right here on defense. Let's see. So you got a 74, not terrible, and good up. Okay, so they are, you know, you got another guy that's good up the middle, another guy that's not weak. Great, great uh, linebackers, serviceable corners, a bad safety. So I guess really they, they just have one bad safety, which I covered up that weakness, and that's really it. So I guess I could see it. But the Browns are surprisingly not bad in Madden 2003. I enjoyed playing with them. I would use them again and, uh, you know, sneak up on someone with the Browns. So that is going to do it for the video today. Uh, next video, we'll be coming back with maybe a team that doesn't have a, doesn't start with a B. Maybe we made it out of the B's. No, we didn't. The Buccaneers will be the next team that I take a look at in Madden 2003. So look for that one to come soon. Thank you for watching.